Happy holidays, freeze dryers. It is the time of year that it is just the time of year for giving. So we're gonna make four things, possibly three things that you can give for gifts this year or uh, just enjoy for yourself or share with friends and family. <laughs> Caramel M&Ms have been coming up a whole bunch on the Facebook and Miwi groups. Uh, I think this is an awesome candy. This would be a great gift. Everyone loves M&Ms, and if you add a little caramel to it, who can hate that? Next, I wanna try um, a little peanut brittle. This has also been coming up a couple times, and it's something that you would not think would freeze dry, but as far as I know, it turns out really, really well. And a lot of people uh, end up with a whole bunch of peanut brittle at the end of the holiday, so this is a good use for it. Something different, it's not so hard and crunchy. And you're probably wondering why there's a giant bottle of Jack Daniels whiskey sitting right here because our favorite drink during the holidays is eggnog and whiskey. So we're gonna make some, uh, some holiday eggnog bites. We're gonna rehydrate them with some whiskey, maybe get creative and uh, see how that turns out. And our fourth and last possible contestant for gift giving is gonna be chocolate covered cherries. Um, I'm not sure that they're gonna work. My wife has been really asking me for a long time to make these. So we're gonna try the eggnog and the chocolate covered cherries in their own separate cycle. We'll try the, uh, the M&Ms and the peanut brittle in candy mode. Before we get going on this, I wanna remind you of the 12 days of Christmas giveaway we're doing. We're giving away some really big prizes, including a freeze dryer and two Avon Armor vacuum chamber sealers, um, an infrared camera, all kinds of gear from our freeze drying supplies store. So uh, it's, it has already started. We're doing a draw, drawing every day all the way up until Christmas day. So if you're not entered, I'll put the, uh, the information at the end of this video again on how you can sign up. Also remember that if you don't win a prize during the 12 days of Christmas giveaway, we are running a sale every single day. It will be a different sale every day. So make sure you check in on the site to see what's happening during that day for uh, the promotion. So our eggnog and whiskey is going to be, uh, it's gonna do best if we freeze it first. So I'm gonna do that uh, first. I'm gonna put down some pre-cut parchment and we're just gonna fill up a pan with eggnog. I'm actually gonna use dividers so I can make eggnog cubes. If you've seen uh, my videos from last year, I did this exact same thing. The cubes turned out really well and it actually rehydrated really well also. And then just make sure that you leave enough room for if you're putting dividers in, those dividers will also take up some of the volume of the tray and you don't want some spillage to happen. Easy peasy for the eggnog. I'm just gonna throw a lid. This is gonna go into the deep freeze uh, along with our chocolate covered cherries. And I'm gonna do two trays of eggnog and I'm lining this with pre-cut parchment from freeze drying supplies. Reason being, uh, normal, regular milk will not stick to the bottom. But with eggnog, you're talking about something that's very sugary and it's just gonna reduce your chances of making a, a where half of it sticks to the bottom of the tray. Now let's move on to the chocolate covered cherries. I don't have high hopes for these because they just remind me too much of some other things that I've tried that just, they don't really work. They have kind of that syrupy inside that just doesn't seem to uh, jive with freeze drying very well. We are gonna freeze these and I'm gonna cut them in half because we need a place for water or moisture to escape. The key will be to uh, not getting this chocolate shell on the outside to melt during the freeze drying process. So that's that. I'm not gonna do too many just in case they don't turn out. Like I said, I don't have real high hopes that they're going to work, but if they do, it would be a great bonus. I'm gonna throw these in the freezer and we'll work on our M&Ms. So I'm gonna do caramel M&Ms, which are way better than the regular M&Ms. Parchment paper down in the tray and then I'm putting the tray dividers in uh, in the 40 portion setting. I have a feeling that these are probably gonna blow up quite a bit as a lot of candy does. So I'm gonna put one piece per section. So basically 40 M&Ms will cover this tray. Uh, after this is done, we might figure out that you can put more than one uh, per tray. 
I'm gonna throw a lid on this as well, and then we're gonna move on to our peanut brittle because those will be done in candy mode, and I have not actually done candy mode for quite a while. I don't do a lot of candy, candy normally and, unless it's the holidays. So we'll also go through a short tutorial uh, while I'm doing candy modes just as a refresher course. I'm gonna put dividers in as well as parchment again because this is a very sugary treat that's probably gonna blow up and uh, hopefully not make a mess. So I am doing 20 portions in the dividers. And these are all ready to go. And as I mentioned earlier, I'll do these in two separate cycles because the eggnog and the chocolate covered cherries, I think we'll have to do an entire cycle. The peanut brittle and the M&Ms should be good with just the candy mode. So they will be, uh, they'll be real quick. Let's get to that right now. In we go with the frozen eggnog and also in with the chocolate covered cherries. Chocolate covered cherries did not freeze all the way, which is probably not a good sign. And I also think that just in case these decide they're gonna implode inside the freeze dryer, I think I'm gonna just slide a piece of parchment over the top. And we'll let these run an entire cycle. Tomorrow I will come in and do the, uh, the candy as well. These recipes, if they are successful, will end up in the freeze drying cookbook. And you can just go to freezedryingcookbook.com to check those out. There is uh, well over 100 recipes at this point, uh, working up to 200 recipes, as well as lots of other information, troubleshooting, uh, manuals, log books, all kinds of different stuff. And also don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We do primarily freeze drying on this channel. Click the bell to get notifications. Uh, that'll tell you every time we release a video. For us, that's Sundays at 8 a.m. If you like the content that we're providing, make sure you give us a thumbs up. If you're curious about freeze drying or have any questions, you can check out our Facebook group or our MeWe group. Those are our social media groups. You can find those. Just search Retired at 40s Freeze Drying Group or check down in the description. We'll have a link for it there. If you're looking for a specific question that you have or topic, use the search magnifying glass. Uh, that can be found on the page, those that way you can search old threads, you can search keywords, uh, whatever you're looking for. We also do weekly giveaways. Uh, this time of year we do our big 12 days of Christmas giveaway which is going on right now. And if you have questions about the freeze dryer itself, the manufacturer, or if you're ready to pull the trigger on a freeze dryer, please consider using our affiliate link. That can be found down in the description. And that just sends us a small commission if you purchase a freeze dryer through our affiliate. It helps us do our giveaways. It helps us bring you YouTube content. It also helps us develop products for freeze drying supplies. So any of the products that you've seen in the videos can be found at freezedryingsupplies.com. We're just trying to streamline the, the freeze drying process as much as possible. We also have a couple new products coming out that we're very excited about, so stay tuned for that. So we'll let our eggnog and our chocolate covered cherries go through a freeze drying cycle. And then tomorrow we'll do a quick uh, candy mode cycle and we'll do our uh, caramel M&Ms and our peanut brittle. See you in a second. Our eggnog and our chocolate covered cherries are now done. They took 23 hours and 47 minutes, 14.93 kilowatt hours. The tray is really warm. That's not a good sign for the chocolate covered cherries. And they look just about how I thought they were going to. On the plus side, we know that eggnog does really well. Uh, I wanna show you a little trick for getting stuff like eggnog out of here that likes to stick to the pans. If you twist it like this, kind of like you did with the, uh, the old school ice cube trays when you did those, if you just kind of twist each corner, it loosens up uh, what's in the center. And I've noticed that with a lot of dairy things, uh, it's really just varies brand to brand, whether you can get this stuff to stay in cubes or not. Uh, this stuff is kind of 50-50, it looks like. Some of it wants to, to stay in a cube and some of it doesn't. These dividers, you can actually kind of maneuver them around to loosen up things. So if you want to keep things in cubes, you know, a lot of them will stay in cubes. I will say this too, that if you do not line your trays with either parchment or silicone, some kind of non-stick surface, there is no way that uh, most of this is gonna make it outside of your tray, it's gonna stick to your tray. So depending on how yours turns out and what brand you use, uh, it might be easier to do cubes. Otherwise you can do powder as well. I'm sure that will work just fine. We'll try both ways. These are actually Avid Armor containers and I'm gonna show you something cool that Avid Armor just came out with. It is now possible to vacuum seal containers as well as uh, mason jars on the Avid Armor now. I'm gonna do a whole video on this uh, coming up in the next week or two. 
All right, I think we're ready for our candy mode. So I'm gonna do a quick tutorial again, just in case you forgot. I don't actually do candy a whole lot, so I'm gonna give myself a refresher also. You just go to customize, and then we're gonna take our dry temp up above 130. So the lowest you can go is 135. When you do that, it will hit candy high temperature mode, and then we're gonna click uh, save unless you want to do extra dry time, which for us, I wanna, I'm gonna leave it at two hours. So once you hit start, now it will say high temperature mode and it's gonna go to your regular 15 minutes of cooling the chamber. And while we're waiting for the chamber to cool down, I'm gonna actually start working on our holiday nog. I wanna see how this rehydrates. I put in two different versions in our canisters. I put some cubes where they would stay in cubes and then I kind of powdered the other half. Uh, you could actually run this through a food processor or a blender to really get it powdered if you want. So I'm gonna end up having to try this a few different ways. Lucky me, it's a tough job. Someone has to do it though. I'm gonna do one shot of whiskey I think that's probably a pretty good baseline and then we'll kind of figure out how much eggnog we need to add to one shot of whiskey uh, Preferably we'll have to add some more water also because obviously we took a lot of water out of the eggnog This eggnog will be very very dense very potent So just remember that when you're making these drinks finding the right texture took me a second uh, the key was a blender because if, you, uh, if you've done dairy before, if you don't get stuff down to a powder or something that will pulverize it or really agitate, you'll kind of leave, uh, it'll kind of leave like a little kind of grains almost uh, when you, if you just try and hand stir it. So the blender takes care of that and makes it perfectly smooth again. So what I ended up doing was one shot of whiskey I did two to three shots of water, and then six to eight of these eggnog cubes. And the reason I did put some variation into this recipe is it will depend on how much eggnog you used in your trays. It will also depend on what brand of eggnog. It will also depend on what texture you like your eggnog to be, and how strong you want your holiday nog to be. This is uh, just about perfect for me. One shot of whiskey, and it yields probably about four ounces of holiday nog. And that's awesome. It's just, just enough whiskey taste, but not overpowering the nog. It's, a, it's like a 50-50 taste. I love this stuff. And if you don't have dividers in order to yield that same four to six ounces of holiday nog, you're just gonna need about three quarters of a cup of our freeze-dried powder or eggnog powder and then a shot of Jack Daniels or some other kind of whiskey and half a cup of water, it should give you a nice glass of holiday nog. You would never know it's freeze dried. So running this through the food processor does definitely make it a lot smoother and will be a lot helpful, a lot more helpful for storage. The cubes are uh, good in their own way as well. But that's a whole new way to do eggnog. Let's check on our M&Ms and our peanut brittle. And now that our chamber is cooled off, you'll see this little thing up here. You just click that to on for the candy process. And then you load your trays as you normally do. Once your trays are loaded, you're gonna click continue. If you want to do warm trays, you can do that. Otherwise, you can skip it. I'm gonna warm mine for just five minutes. That usually, it helps the candy expand, it seems like. And then once your trays are done warming, it's just gonna go into your drying cycle just like it normally does. Two hours and we should be good to go. And I'm gonna try and capture a time lapse on this so you can watch to see how everything kind of grows and expands and changes. Well, it's been two hours and 1.22 kilowatt hours. M&Ms look really, really good. And the peanut brittle actually just started puffing up like the last 20 minutes of that two hours. I think you could probably stick it in for another half hour or hour and probably get it to puff up a little bit more, but I'm excited to give this stuff a taste test. A couple of really cool days uh, as far as I'm concerned. Lots of uh, new stuff and stuff that's gonna be really cool for the holidays. I know you don't have a lot of time to uh, get this done before, but I think all three of these things are just gonna be a really good treat. That, that whiskey eggnog actually will, uh, will end up being really cool if you could figure out a real uh, clever way to package it and you could put a tag on there. It showed the, uh, the rehydration and all that stuff. Super cool, even if uh, someone is not interested interested in freeze drying. It's just really kind of a novelty way of doing that. So there's our peanut brittle. It puffs up really nice. And our caramel M&Ms. Let's try the caramel M&Ms first. Those are really nice and light and fluffy and airy. I really like those. 
those are probably those are actually probably one of my new favorites. Now let's try our peanut brittle. I don't usually like peanut brittle because it's so hard and crunchy. This is still crunchy. It's not as hard. It does have some crunch to it, but it really takes the uh, the teeth breaking part out of it. Well, three of the four today were great successes. I'm uh, I'm very pleased with all of these. I'm gonna actually freeze dry quite a bit more of this for my holiday gifts. I think all these turned out really good. I think that people will really enjoy them. Uh, I hope everyone has a happy holidays and uh, let's bring it into a great new year. I know we've had a couple rough last couple years. So uh, 2023, baby. In the meantime, this is Retired at 40. Remember to live life simple. We'll catch you next week. Stick around and I'll show you how to sign up for the 12 days of Christmas uh, giveaway. To be entered into the giveaway, it's very simple. You just go to www.freezedryingsupplies.com. In the upper right hand corner, you're gonna see this little person icon. You're gonna click on that. That will take you to the login screen. If you already have an account, you can, uh, you can double check and see if you have an account with your email and password here. Otherwise, just go down below, sign in and click create account. That will take you to this create account page. You just need to enter your first name, your last name, your email and password. And then you're gonna click this create button here at the bottom. There is no obligation to win any of our prizes. We're giving away 12 days of prizes this year. And uh, if you think that you already have an account or you're not sure, try and create another account it actually will not let you create an account for the second time and that's it that's all there is to it good luck